Hello friends, in the previous video we learned about the EC2 service with AWS Cloud and we launched an EC2 instance and we also connected that instance through the command line interface or the instance terminal provided by the AWS Cloud but we were not able to access the instance through the public IPv4 address. So let's see how we can launch the Apache server with EC2 client or we can say that EC2 instance of our AWS cloud and how we can use that Apache server to launch the HTML page. So let's start. So let's quickly create an EC2 instance. We have already practiced this. We uh, I am already having three instances but they are not running. They are in terminated mode. So that's why running instances are zero. And if you are using this or you are creating your first instance then you will be having zero for every field over here as I had already uh, created four security groups. F security groups are like firewalls but we are not going into uh, depth of security groups for this lecture. So simply launch an instance and here EC2 server 1 so we are creating our first EC2 server for this video and next we have selected that we are going with Amazon Linux AWS server and this is the device description and configuration we had we have selected instance type as uh, micro and now for this as we just want to launch the Apache server we can go with without a key pair okay but in next video we will see how to communicate via the uh, clients for that you need to create the key pair so that we will practice in next video for this we are just keeping it continue without any key pair and here we just need to turn these check boxes on because we want to allow HTTP traffic otherwise we will not be able to launch our EC2 instance and we are allowing the traffic from anywhere but if you are uh, launching an EC2 instance for your real time application then you need not to select anywhere for this field you must select some specific IP addresses or subnets so here for the sake of simplicity I am keeping the traffic on from any source now next you need to move to the advanced details for advanced details you have multiple options like you can set the auto recovery default or disabled and you can also uh, set the shutdown behavior once you shut down your instance what should happen uh, whether it should stop or terminate so you can make the selection of these uh, advanced features but here I am just selecting the cloud watch feature that is free service provided to uh, to your account or we can say that to your instance for for the alert purpose means for your budget alert and for uh, tracking your activities so this is the free service available from EC, uh, from the AWS now after these details you need to go to user data now here you need to drop your script to launch the Apache server so I have already written the script for you so I am going to write this bash script where this is the bash uh, this is the uh, interpreter that is telling that I am going to run the bash script this is to install all operating system updates and this is the this is the line or we can say that instruction to install the Apache server for your EC2 instance so it will install your EC2 instance with Apache server that you can also run these commands you can also run through command line interface that we will see in the next video now next is you can start uh, by this line you are starting the Apache server and we are enabling the Apache server to run with every boot of your instance means when, whenever you are rebooting your instance so it will enable the Apache server for your instance so just copy this script and paste it with the user data and launch the instance so the instance is launched click 
so from here you can see after selection this is the description or configuration of your ec2 instance and the status is still pending so we have to wait till the uh, status turn to active or running so you can refresh the instance now it is running so simply select to see the configuration here we have the ipv4 address here we have ipv4 dns so let's copy the ipv4 address and paste it to another tab and here you can see this is the test page of apache server we, because we have not installed anything we have not run anything with you, with the apache server so it simply has displayed the web page test page of your apache server so that's it for this video see you in the next video where we will also launch an html page with this apache server so till then bye and take care.